Hello, Steve White, Trekboy89 for Steve Watts 89. Well, so Nika Martin Green, where she was um, promoting Paramount Fire, Paramount Fire, Paramount Plus in the UK, um, she did an interview with Digital Spy, and she said the weirdest thing. She said, the next season's going to be lovely. That was the best word for it, lovely. I'm like, how is a science fiction action series lovely? What is she talking about? Um, it's, it's kind of stuck in my head and annoying me. I'm like, lovely. Okay, I know you can't give spoilers, you can't talk about specific ideas, specific storylines and so forth, or character arcs, but lovely? What, how is it lovely? It's, it's annoying me. Um, I mean, when you know people are hanging on your every word because they want to know what's going to happen, saying just something as just random and vague as lovely, is, is she messing with us? Um, Okay, so they talked about her and Book, and the suggestion is they'll get back together and, um, next year, that he'll be back in the series somehow, and people are like, but he got sent away, and I'm like, yeah, well, then they just write that he came back, it's not that hard. Um, so I'm guessing he's back. Um, the only thing that she really talked about was the idea of a crossover, like, she loves the idea of a crossover. Someone suggested she could be uh, animated Michael Burnham on Lower Decks, and she's like, oh my god, I love that, that that's a lovely idea, I'm like, lovely again. So is that just a word she's using, is it like a word her kid's using or something that she's saying, like... What, why is how is that lovely? <laughs> this is not a lovely video, I must say. Um, it's not a lovely experience being messed with by this lady. <laughs> um, so yeah, but there is actual talk. Kurtzman said there will be a crossover, so at some point there will. I'm wondering how they're going to do it. I mean, they've got time travel, they've got universes, but yeah, like because um. Lower Decks and Prodigy are at the same time, and Picard actually actually it wouldn't be that hard. They could have Janeway in Picard, and technically that would be a crossover prodigy. They could have a live... Oh, they could do a live-action character of any of the characters from Lower Decks and have them appear in Picard, or... Um, yeah, that, that could be interesting. Oh, they probably have... I reckon they'll just animate someone in Lower Decks, because Lower Decks has already done John um, Delancey in that, um, and... Um, Oh my god, um, god, I've, I've totally drawn a blank on his character's name, and it, Robert Duncan McNeil, and his real name, I, I couldn't get either of the names out of my head then. They could, I reckon that's what they're going to do. The easiest, cheapest thing to do is just animate someone on Lower Decks, get them to do a voice. Janeway's already done a bunch of voices for um, Prodigy, they could easily slip her into Lower I think that's all that's going to happen, because Discovery's 1,900, whatever, it's a long time in the future from even Picard, let alone um, Strange New Worlds. So, and they've already had them together, so I don't really see that as a crossover. If, if Vo uh, Discovery shows up in Strange New Worlds, they've already been in Discovery. So if they're going to do a real crossover, it's got to be from totally different series. Um, but I think the easiest thing to do, I think the, the cop-out cheapest thing they'll do is just do something on um, Lower Decks. So I've worked that out in my head already. I'm already sure what's going to happen. I know you can count on it. I'm just guessing, I have no idea, but, um, yeah. I just want the shows to get better. <laughs> season 4 was an, a huge improvement over Season 3, because 1 was hideous, 2 was better, but had some issues, 3 was even worse than, uh, almost worse than 1, I don't know what was worse, the Klingon War, or just the Federation and no future and everything being destroyed, basically, and all having to be fixed by, you know, Michael Burnham. Um, but Season 4, just sort of working on that sort of, um, Federation that was back together, but just sort of, you know, strengthening it and having some almost Star Trek-like adventures was almost enjoyable at a few in a few moments here and there, and there were a couple of episodes I was actually fine with, and I thought if the whole season can just go from here, but they're never going to be able to deal with being in the future. They cannot... I can't find... I do not... There's just no way I can find that world believable that that is, you know, over a thousand years in the future. It's just not... They're not advanced enough. It looks like it looks exactly the same as Discovery. Um, like there's nothing different. There's nothing to show they moved so far into the future. So I'm never really gonna buy. It. I just forget they're in the future and just feel like they just moved into like a few years past Picard. That's how it feels. Um, but yeah, I'm just waffling about Star Trek stuff in general right now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I I just I just hope the shows get better. And I don't mind if they cross over as long as you know they're going in the direction they're going. Um, I just want them to embrace the idea of 
you know, the future being a better place. Um, and, and this thing that we've achieved, we've actually achieved utopia, not that we're trying to achieve it, because all the other series have been trying to get to a point that we've already been at, and it's just really reductive. If you're a Star Trek fan, you've sort of been in this universe, now you've been pulled out, and you keep being told, are oh, we going to get back to that? We're going to get it back to that. I'm like, well, why don't we just be in that? So it's very frustrating. Um, but I have my little rant. Um, I think we'll get a crossover, probably on Lower Decks, and apparently it'll be lovely. I'm going to go. Have a lovely day. Bye.